Hi and welcome, it's Peg, and today on our Art Joy Sharing Live show, Chelsea and I did our monthly Pick a Stick Challenge for the month of December. Now, this is a Facebook group. We do um, art journal page, uh, an artist trading card, and a tag each month, and the prompts are in the group. However, you can see that I have the page out on my desk, and we do them step by step. We go one through six in order and pick two colors. So the first prompt is brilliant, and the two colors are silver and bronze. So for brilliant, I started with my piece of paper. Uh, I had some paints uh, from Dina Wakely. These are um, real old. <laughs> I've had them for a while. I need to use them up, probably need to have a big jello print session and use all of these, but um, I'm going to start by using these paints on a piece of watercolor paper that I have attached a tissue paper to because the brilliant comes from the brilliance in the tissue paper. It has a shimmery uh, coating on it, and so I just use some uh, adhesive and glued that down to the surface. And the first thing I'm going to do after gluing that down is to go to the second step, which is square. Now I have these uh, stencils there from Stencil Girl. It's a set of three stencils from a grouping from Mary Beth Shaw. And I love these stencils. I'm going to use the second and third one in the grouping. The first one's a little bit big for uh, what I'm using here, and I'm going to get some of that uh, dark night paint and uh, use a, I think they call this a, oh boy, <laughs> here I go again, scruffy, spongy, uh, I can never remember the name of this. It's a little sponge that they have that fits over your fingertips, and um, I'm going to start applying those colors. Now, I've got the gold and bronze in the background, and then I'm applying the silver and this bluish tone on the top. So, um, using a couple of those square stencils, and then the prompt number three says cut. And I'm thinking about that, and I'm grabbing another stencil. This is one, I think, from Ranger. Um, you know, I'm just looking for things with squares. And I'm going to add another color of paint. Got to dry it in between steps, so I'm just going to blur and smear everything. I like the way these are layering up, um, but it's looking quite dark to me. So you'll see me later on. I'm going to push that back into the background with another layer of gesso and continue on. So now I have that bronze color. Now these are opposites on the color chart. Um, you know, I think of bronze as being warm and silver as being cool and um, not colors that I would normally pick to put together. Like I said, these are random picks by pulling sticks out of the jar and you never know what you're going to get. So we're working with it. You know, we're going to make it work. It wasn't exactly what I was thinking I was going to go for here, but you know, I'm going to, I'm going to make it happen. So, and, and this is the challenge, you guys, you know, sometimes you have to use those things in your head and figure out how it's going to work. Now it might just be how much of a particular color you're adding to a page or what you're going to add to it to bring out, you know, either side of the color wheel. Um, the next step, because it says cut, is I'm going to grab another piece of paper. This is some old uh, scrapbook paper that I've had for years, and I'm going to add that silver with a star onto that pink paper. And, um, you know, I, I think I'm starting to think about the holidays. I'm grabbing stencils like stars and things. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch that paper 
using a uh, star paper punch, but I'm just going back and forth between things here and uh, we'll continue to work. Okay, so my paper's all prepped now, and I'm going to get my punch and punch out five stars because, you know, odd numbers are better than even when it comes to art. It makes it more interesting. So I'll punch out my stars and uh, going to use a glue stick and adhere them to my background. And then I decide I'm going to use some of this washi tape to, you know, put up a um, flooring or, you know, something for a base on this card. Um, I don't like things floating in the air. And so I'm making a division or a dividing line on my page with that. And um, trying to stick to what we're doing here, going back and reading my list and saying, okay, am I following the steps? Yep, I am. So just going to get those glued down quickly and we'll move on. And the next step, let me look at my list here. Um, 
um, says pad. So for pad, I decide that I'm going to use a stamp pad. And I'm looking for a stamp pad in that bronzy color. <clears throat> I do come up with a brilliance pad, but it seems to be quite translucent. So um, what do you do when you have something like that and it's not working for you? Well, you emboss it, right? So I went over to my drawer and I found some embossing powder. So you may have noticed kind of a theme here. Um, I am using up a lot of old product that I've had sitting around for a lot of years when I do these pages. Um, I found out that these pads are getting quite dry, which is a good thing that I drug them out because I do have refills for them, so I just need to re-ink them. Um, I have, you know, this homemade stencil that's a just punch star <clears throat> that I'm going to uh, emboss here. And these are really old embossing powders. You know, embossing powders, I've never had an embossing powder go bad. Um, I've had these for years. And uh, I'm just using them up, you know, because we need to use the products that we have. And I'm kind of on a campaign this year to use the things that I have. Um, so you're going to see a lot of this stuff coming out now. There are new products that you can get that replace these. You know, if people are looking for what I'm using, you know, I'll make suggestions to you about other products that you can find. But I'm trying to use up the stuff that I have, not get new stuff. So um, you're going to see me drag out some things that uh, you may question because they may not be on the market any longer. Um, you know, they change product packaging. They change companies and um, I'm just uh, going to use and you know not throw things away and not get rid of them I'm just going to use what I have because that's my motto for next year so I'm grabbing some silver pens um, the next step is swirl and I have these uh, these are from we are memory keeper heat embossing tools and you just they have a USB uh, plug-in, so it just plugs in the side of your laptop or uh, tablet, whatever you have, and um, it heats up. And then this is a heat transfer foil. So I'm just drawing these swirls onto my background because that's the next prompt. Uh, we have, I think it's swirl, what is it? <laughs> tell you, I, I get sidetracked here, yes. Number five is swirl, which means we have one more prompt, which is one through six in the Pick Stick Challenge. And that prompt is fuzzy. So I had an old calendar. Uh, this is from a few years back. And it had this cute little image. Um, I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie uh, Despicable Me, but um, my grandkids loved it. And... Uh, my daughter was crazy about this little unicorn. And um, so Iris, the little girl in the movie, got this unicorn. And her comment when she got it was, he's so floppy. So what I did was I put that on there and I changed the fluffy to fuzzy and made him so fuzzy because the prompt is fuzzy, not fluffy. So... Um, I'm going to add my words and, um, you know, just use some pen work on the bottom of my page to finish this out. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you uh, decide to join one of our groups. Um, we are changing things up next year, so I would suggest that if you're going to join us in a group to join um, Art Joyous Sharing. That's a Facebook group where we share all of our art and projects and uh, we have a number of different uh, instructors that are sharing things on a monthly basis with you. Um, we have prompts in there. Uh, we have right now a, what do they call that? It's a, yeah, <laughs> can't think of the word. Um, mood board, that's what it is. 
we have a mood board for each month, you know, so that if you need some inspiration, you can work from the mood board. Um, a number of people right now are working on Carve December because it is December and um, that means that people are carving stamps and uh, we also have uh, people that have been finishing up the journaling from uh, Art Journal Habit, which was a month long challenge where we did an art journal page every day. There's over 200 images in that file folder alone of uh, art journal pages where people were following the daily prompts and doing an art journal page a day. So join us over there and just answer the questions when you come to it so that we know you're a real person and we'll get you added to the group. So that's it from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again soon. So bye for now.